Abilene boutiques have been facing the impact of inflation, putting owners in a dilemma of either raising their prices or losing money for the store. But as our Annabelle Tuggle spoke with local boutique owners to learn more, she learned that boutiques are surviving because of how committed many Abilenians are to shopping local. Addie Helms has been the owner of Addie's Boutique for eight years, but she says this year has been a bit more difficult than most. People are having to be intentional with the way they're spending their money. Not only are customers budgeting differently, but Helms says inflation has raised wholesale prices, making it a double whammy. I would say my costs have increased three to six percent, three to seven, which doesn't sound like much until you're talking about buying 150 pieces of something. A local boutique owner, Carson Tut, even recently appeared on a local podcast to talk about the same thing. So a shirt that I used to buy for $8 and sell for 16 because okay. you try to double it, right. is now selling from them for 16 which I would have to sell for 32 One shopper I spoke to supports these owners' claims that shoppers are being more careful with spending. Shannon Cox saying she's recently lost 62 pounds, but can't afford to buy an entirely new wardrobe. It's easier to come here and buy the resale clothes instead of starting all over every single time. If someone wants to make some extra pocket change or whatnot, with this being a consignment store, we, we have that ability to where it's a 50-50 cut. The owner of the resale boutique Cox was walking into, Jane Amy Delay says they've seen an uptick in customers who say they've come to their store to make and also save money. Here, you'll pay like a third to a half of their original price. The, the Kinder Scott piece right here retails for around 85, and here it's going to be a fraction of the price, which is going to be half, which is going to be around 40. So with cheaper options like this, how exactly are local boutiques surviving? The owner of a 42-year-old boutique in town, Laura Weber, says the answer is simple. People support us. They want us to make it in this business. We couldn't stay in business business if it weren't for them. And Helm says the same thing, even getting emotional while we talked about it. The folks who shopped with me would come in and buy a gift certificate just to keep me afloat. I'd probably get teary-eyed talking about it. They are not customers, really. They're more like friends. In Abilene, Annabelle Tuggle, KRBC, Abilene Local News. Thank you, Annabelle. Some of the owners say they are hopeful the rise in prices won't last forever, but they are thankful to be in Abilene while those prices are high.